After he became Chancellor in January 1933, Hitler transformed his democratic position into dictatorial power in eight steps. This is how he moved from being Chancellor to Führer. First of all, there was the Reichstag fire on the 27th of February 1933. The Reichstag burned down. A Dutch communist named Van der Lubbe was caught red-handed with matches and fire lighting materials. Hitler used it as an excuse to arrest many of his communist opponents and aid his election campaign for March 1933. The fire was so convenient that many people at the time claimed that the Nazis had burnt down the Reichstag themselves and then just blamed the communists. But maybe Van der Lubbe did cause the fire and Hitler just took advantage of it. The next step was the general election of the 5th of March 1933. In this, Hitler appealed to the German people to give him a clear mandate to rule. But only 44% of the people voted Nazi, which did not give him a majority in the Reichstag. So Hitler arrested the 81 communist representatives, which did then give him a majority, and Goering became Speaker of the Reichstag. The next step was the 23rd of March, the Enabling Act, in which the Reichstag voted to give Hitler the power to make his own laws. Nazi stormtroopers from the SA stopped opposition deputies going in to vote and beat up anyone who dared to speak against the act. This enabling act made Hitler the dictator of Germany with power to do anything he liked, completely legally. Soon afterwards, Hitler moved on to local government on the 26th of April, when they took over governments throughout the country and the police. They replaced anti-Nazi teachers and university professors, set up the Gestapo, the secret police, and encouraged Germans to report opponents of the Nazi regime. Those regarded as undesirable, Jews, communists, Jehovah's Witnesses, gypsies, homosexuals, alcoholics and prostitutes began to be rounded up, arrested and sent to the new concentration camps. Then, on the 2nd of May 1933, trade unions were banned. Their offices were closed, their money confiscated and their leaders put in prison. In their place, Hitler put the German Labour Front, acting as one union for all workers, which reduced their pay and took away their right to strike. On the 14th of July 1933, all other political parties were banned. The law against the formation of parties declared the Nazi party the only legitimate political party in Germany. All others were banned and their leaders put in prison. This satisfied Hitler for a while until the following year when on the 30th of June 1934 there came the infamous Night of the Long Knives. The SA had helped Hitler come to power. They defended his meetings and attacked opponents. By 1934 there were more than a million of them. Now Hitler could face no opposition within the party and the SA were an embarrassment, not an advantage. Also, Rome, the leader of the SA, was talking about a socialist revolution and taking over the army. So, on the night of the 30th of June, code word Hummingbird was put into operation, and Hitler ordered the SS to kill more than 400 SA men, including Rome, and many other key leaders. 
the final step in this process was on the 19th of August 1934 when the president for many years Hindenburg finally died and Hitler took over the office of president and leader of the army. The soldiers had a new oath to swear that they would be willing to fight and die not just for Germany but for Adolf Hitler personally and from this time on Hitler gave himself the title Führer.